Have you ever wanted your form to look really nice, with a nice title, with a nice background? Well, recently Google changed the way that you can do that. It now enables you to customize the way that your form can look. In order to do that, what you need to do is click on this option here, it says change theme. And then this brings up this menu here, and you've got lots of themes that you can choose from. So these are the, the automatic ones that Google offers, these templates. But what we want to do is customize our own. So we're gonna click on this button there, it says customize. First thing we're gonna do is change the header image. So let's change the image, and we're gonna choose an image. But before we do that, we need to find an image. So I'm gonna go into just a Google window, and I'm gonna look for information on digital technology. But before we do so, I wanna find something that's a legal image that we can use. So let's click on search tools, let's go to usage rights, and labeled for non-commercial reuse with modification. So let's choose that. I like this first image here, so let's click on this image. Uh, let's view this image. We can download this image by clicking on the free download. It's asking for a capture code and download. So let's go back to our form. Now let's choose the image. So we go down to the uploads button. We choose the image that we want. And there we have it. We have our image. Now we can click on fit to the width. We can do other things here. We can change the title of the font. So the font title, if we wanted to change that to a different font, let's have impact. Okay, and then we can change the description of that. We can change the question type. We can change the form background. So let's have a look at the form background. Let's change the form background to a color that's similar to what we're looking at here. So maybe a gray color. And then the page background, we can do the same. And we can use an image. So we can use the same image for the purpose of this training. So let's choose that, open it up. And there is our image behind as well. Now to get back to editing our questions, we click on edit questions in the corner here. And now we can look at this menu here. Now we've got several different options here. We can turn off the responses for this by clicking on this button here. Now we can see when anybody tries to go to this form, they can see a message here which can be customized and changed that this form is no longer accepting responses. To turn it back on, you just click on the button there. You can also look at a summary of responses. Now we have no responses at the moment, so a summary of responses is not gonna show much. But this will give you some graphical views, of some of the questions that you've been answered in your form. Now we can look at that in maybe further videos. View responses, that will take us to the spreadsheet. We can change the response destination, unlink the form. We can get a pre-filled URL. So this means basically you can pre-fill your form, send that out, so people don't necessarily have to choose the answers. They maybe just need to choose certain answers. And this one here, delete all the responses, means if you've done some test runs and then you want to actually send the form out, it's a good idea to delete all the responses from that test run and then you can send the form out. And then it starts recording them up here. But please be aware, if you delete the responses here, it does not delete them from the spreadsheet. So you then need to go and delete them from the spreadsheet as well. That concludes this video. In the next video, we're gonna look at viewing responses, changing the response destination, and then unlinking the form.